हेलो नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम सत्याकाल वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन विथ योर वाश ऑफ एट वारेवा डॉट कॉम टुडे वी गोइंग टू मेक आलू का सालन यू नो विथ पटेटोज वी मेक एक्सलेंट सालन बट द सारिंग एजेंट वॉट वी यूज इज योग दैट इज खर्ड सो लेट्स गो एड एंड लर्न हाउ टू मेक द सालन फॉर दिस यू नो आई एम गोइंग टू टेक वन टेबल स्पून ऑफ पीनट्स एंड वी गोइंग टू स्लोली ड्राई रोस्ट दिस पीनट्स One tablespoon of sesame seeds. After slow cooking the peanuts and uh, sesame seeds, equal quantity. All one one tablespoon of uh, you know uh, peanut, coconut, and sesame seeds. And even this, we're going to slightly roast this, and then we're going to put this in a blender and make this into a nice fine paste. Once the oil is hot, add some mustard seeds. When the mustard seeds crackle, add red chilies, cumin seeds, and little bit of uh, methi dana. Methi dana is a fenugreek seeds, but do not add too much. It will give bitterness. In this, we are going to add onions. Just sliced onions, pinch of salt. In this, add a curry leaf. Now look at this. The onions are nice and golden. In this, add some ginger garlic paste. Once the ginger garlic paste raw flavor is gone, in this, add a pinch of turmeric. That should be good. Add a chili powder. You know, little extra chili powder for this. cumin powder add coriander powder some green chili peanut and uh, sesame seed and coconut paste pour all of this mixture on top of this and mix it you know add water till this becomes like a very thin curry you know now you have to cook this for at least 30 minutes on a slow flame after cooking around almost 30 minutes look at this the oil has separated from this uh, peanut sesame seed and coconut uh, gravy now look at this the gravy is nice and thick and uh, now the oil is slightly floating in this add some mint and some chopped coriander and this will really really enhance your salan gravies and now in this i'm going to add beaten yogurt as soon as you add any of the sarnas whether yogurt tamarind or anything the oil from this will separate out now you going to also add boiled potatoes here are the potatoes which are boiled you know do not add uh, raw potatoes look at this how big pieces we are adding because whenever they make for catering they make huge quantities and they keep the potatoes big and uh, believe me they come out really nice in this gravy i have got lot of these potatoes wow this is going to be my lunch also and uh, these kind of salans go excellent again with uh, any kind of pulao or even with rotis and i specifically like to eat these salans with rumali roti and also our hyderabadi naan dear friends just cover this because the potatoes are boiled you want to cook this on a slow flame for another 15 minutes then you can serve it and they'll taste fantastic after cooking this for almost uh, 15 20 minutes look at this the potatoes also will become nice and yellow in color cooking in this gravy and they'll become even more tender wow they'll be very soft and fragile they see just by touching they're breaking this is good and uh, you know they are ready to serve wow look at this they are nice soft and perfect ah 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 but fuming 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 potatoes i don't want to see if i ever get my tongue burn a lot i rather it be like chicken or shrimp or meat if i get my mouth burned on potatoes while be a laughing stock in the public aalu ki wajah se uska muh jal gaya no i am not going to let that happen wow look at this hmm perfect it's not too sour like the way we make the tamarind gravy sauces but with the yogurt based salan these potatoes taste fantastic dear friends i hope you enjoyed today's session of learning how to make aloo ki salan when you make aloo ka salan what kind of saring do you use yogurt but you always boil the potatoes and add because if you add raw potatoes after adding yogurt i'm telling you the potatoes will take a long 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 time to cook but do not forget wareva is all about inspiring others to cook so please post your recipes and cooking tips at wareva.com so others can benefit from your great cooking thank you